So the 2018 World Cup is edging ever closer and the excitement has gotten, is, is out of control. I just can't wait. I cannot wait. So as we get closer to the start of the tournament, let's take a look at the next group in my group by group predictions. In this episode, we we'll take a look at group C. <laughs> In this group, we see one of the tournament favourites, France, square up against Australia, Peru and Denmark in what is yet another pretty open group. Obviously, the standout country for me is France and they should have no major concerns about making it through to the next round. The real question for me is who's going to join them as the remaining countries have all the attributes to qualify and I cannot separate the three sides. So into the first set of matches and France will open up the tournament with a bang at the expense of Australia and will see plenty of goals from the Frenchmen. I see them running out 3-1 winners. As for the second match, it's too close to call. I can't see Denmark losing this one and Peru are an unknown package. And I feel they'll give themselves a good display in Russia and for me, I've opted for a 1-0 draw. Into the second batch of matches in Group C and Denmark this time will get the better of Australia. And with this defeat, we'll eliminate Tim Cahill and the Socceroos. Comfortable 2-0 victory for Christian Eriksen and his boys will give them a good boost going into the final set of matches. As for Tre Blue, they will secure their place in the final 16 with a win over Peru. Fans are a real threat for the tournament as a whole and the nations in Group D will be keeping a close eye on them and hope to sidestep a meeting with them in the second round. Into the final set of matches and Denmark will take on France. A big battle of Europe for me and I don't think there'll be much in it. Like Spain in Group B, I feel France will rest some key players and give their second string a run out. However, I feel Denmark will hold strong and get something from this match and secure themselves a place in the next round. As for Peru, in order for them to make it interesting, they need to beat the Aussies to get themselves any hope of delaying their exit. However, I see Tim Cahill getting a final swan song with a nice victory against the Peruvians, which will be a nice way for the ex-Everton man to bow out the game as a whole. After those matches, Denmark and France will await the two qualified nations from Group D as they prepare for the second round. Who will it be? I'll tell you tomorrow. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup 2018. There is plenty more World Cup content coming right here on this channel. So please stick around. So until we meet again, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.